fellow cyborgs and welcome to the autumn reading tag which was created by Amy Jane Smith and I was tagged by Acacia Ives. Question number one, are there any books that you plan to read over the autumn reading season? So it's already mid-October, I'm planning on reading these following three books, hopefully, fingers crossed, in November. I need to finally finish the last 100-150 pages of Moby Dick. I'm going to be buddy reading Dead Mountain by Donnie Ecker with Marie Berg, so that should be very exciting. And I would love love to start on Roots by Alex Haley, which is a sweeping family saga and deals with black culture, history, and literature. Question number two, September brings back to school memories. What book did you enjoy reading in school and what were your favorite and least favorite subjects? Jane Eyre was one of the first books that I had assigned for reading in school that I loved. This I was assigned my senior year for high school and then I eventually studied it in university as well, and then I annotated the crap out of it to the point where I kind of can't read this copy anymore. In high school, I really struggled to find a subject that I was good at, and for me, being good at a subject and being encouraged at, like, encouraged as a student was important in in enjoying that subject. So gut reaction, I would say English, though I wasn't a terribly good English student. I never really thought I was smart enough to study English, which is part of the reason why I have a psychology degree rather than an English literature degree. The subject that I consistently struggled with most was history. I remember almost every year just hoping for a B minus and that would have made me really pleased. And I don't think I ever got a C in history, though I did get a C in chemistry. I think with history, I expected to be able to excel in it, and the fact that I just continuously didn't, it, yeah, it definitely made me made it one of my least favorite subjects. And the only reason why I say history over physical education is because PE only lasted for two years in high school, whereas history for all four. Question number three, October means Halloween. Do you enjoy scary books and films? And what are some of your favorites? So I will link down below a video I made last year about my favorite Halloween movies because those still stand as some of my favorite scary-ish movies. But overall, I don't watch horror films. There are some exceptions, but for the most part, I don't, and I have read even less horror than I have watched, so this question doesn't apply to me very well, unfortunately. Question number four. With November comes bonfire night and fireworks displays because of Guy Fox. Yeah, V for Vendetta. What's the most exciting book you've read that just kept you gripped? Sorry about the lighting change, but the book that recently kept me gripped was The Color Purple by Alice Walker. I recently buddy read this with Acacia Ives as always, and I just didn't want to put this down, and I've been thinking about it daily ever since, and it was so fast of a read, even though it covered some really tough topics, and I just freaking loved it. Question number five, what book is your favorite cozy comfort read? I don't have a dedicated one of these, but when I looked at my shelves and thought cozy comfort, here are some of the books that came to mind. Aberat by Clive Barker, The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making by Catherine and Valenti, and Sabriel and the remaining books in the Abhorson series, by Garth Nix. Question number six, curled up with a good book, what is your hot drink of choice? And mine is definitely tea and more recently herbal teas. I've been trying to lessen my caffeine intake, so herbal teas are the way to go there. Some of my favorites would be like a sleepy time blend or I really like peppermint tea. Traditionally, I really love Earl Grey and the bergamot flavor and I do have a rooibos Earl Grey, but it's not the same. It's not the same, but it'll do. And of course, a spiced pumpkin spice herbal tea with especially some like cookies to dunk. It's just pretty magical. And then the last question is, are there any plans that you're looking forward to over the autumn season? And yes, I'm actually going to be traveling to the New England area and meeting up with some booktubers and also visiting my sister. And I am looking forward to that, even though the little introvert inside me is getting really nervous about all the traveling and everything like that. But hopefully that'll be tons of fun and relaxation and just getting to know some awesome people. Sorry about the lighting 
changes, guys. Apparently, with daylight savings coming up, the my window glare issues are um, an issue today. Before I go, I would just like to tag some people to do this tag if they haven't already. So I would love for Winx and Ink to try this, Michaela and Gretchen from Betwixt the Books, and M.A. Anders, who is a baby booktuber. And if you haven't checked out her channel, you really should. I really like her content, as I do the rest of the ladies I tagged as well. Thank, thank, thank you for watching. Again, sorry about the lighting situation and continue to be lovely. Your lighting situation. Thank you to my patrons who are supporting me through Patreon. I really appreciate it. Hope you're having a lovely day and a lovely autumn if that is the season you are getting into.